And let's bring in Jewish activist, model, and author, Elizabeth Pipko. Elizabeth, what is astonishing, anti-Semitism um, has been on the rise coming out of colleges. The number of Jewish students has been cut in half on Ivy League college campuses in just the last decade um, as they focused less on merit, more on the amorphous equity. But right now, you see these colleges more concerned about the doxing of anti-Semites than the actual anti-Semitism itself and the hatred towards Jewish students. You're right. You're right. The speech that you just showed from the professor, I saw it circulating on social media yesterday. It honestly brought me to tears. I really hope people understand more than anything how serious the situation is. He's not warning about bad grades or parties or the wrong classes, the usual things people should think about on college campuses. He's actually warning parents that their children will not be protected on these campuses from those who support terrorism. I really hope people understand how serious that statement was that I unfortunately had to make on television in 20. 2023. The fact that we have gotten here is a low point in our country. I hope more than anything that people can admit that. And I hope this is a huge wake up call, like you said, to donors, to parents, to administrators, and to professors around the country. They have made a huge mistake and they must reverse course now. You know, we talk about, you know, this is serious and you're right, but there's been a 36% increase in anti Jewish hate crimes last year alone. And since the October 7th terror attack, it's been even more prevalent from reports of a woman being punched at a New York City subway station just for being Jewish to an iconic Jewish deli in this city being vandalized with a swastika. The owner of Second Avenue Deli spoke out against the hate this morning on Varney and Company. Watch. People are outraged. A swastika represents hate, hatred for Jews and just hatred against humanity. And I think that a lot of people just need more education at this point because we all can come together today and I think people need to be taught that when they go out in the streets and fly a Hamas flag, they are calling for death, they're calling for, for rape, they're calling for, for, for bodies to be mutilated, for babies to be burnt alive. You know, Elizabeth, uh, I'm shocked and maybe I, I shouldn't be, but I, I thought America was, was better than this. I didn't think there, there, there was this level of anti-Semitism that is felt in New York City on college campuses. But I must have missed something over the course of the, whether it's the last 10, 20, 25 years. But something has changed in the country, and I think this is incredibly serious. How does it get addressed? Yeah, look, um, we've seen over the years in our history, um, when there's a scapegoat that's being looked for, people often look to the Jewish people. I think our country is extremely divided right now. It's extremely polarized. People need that scapegoat, and they're turning again to anti-Semitism. I hoped more than anything, after these horrendous attacks that we all saw unfold in Israel, people would use this as a reason to finally stand up against anti-Semitism. And instead, they've used it literally as an excuse to be blatantly, openly anti-Semitic. I'm begging anyone listening right now, if you see something or you hear something, say something. Silence is never the answer and the only way to stop anti-Semitism from creeping into every major institution in this country is to stand up against this hatred when you see it. I've seen it. I've heard about it. I've discussed it over the last decade with friends of mine as they watched it in colleges that they attended, including Harvard, before this, this horrific terror attack, Elizabeth. And, and before we go, it's accepted because these pro-Palestine protesters that signed the 30-some-plus groups that signed that statement blaming a terror attack on Jewish people, on Israel, that is the hatred of the Jews. That is anti-Semitism, and it has to be called out. But this is the doctrine and ideology that's been taught that the Jew, Jewish people and Israel is an oppressor country, an oppressor people. That, this, is what, this is what it's all about, that, that they're colonizers. This is Soviet propaganda that has been turned into lectures on college campuses. That has to stop. People need to be fired. You're exactly right.
Exactly right. The fact that this is happening is only because people have not stood up over the years. I've said it. I'm so proud that you've said it. We've said it for years. This is being taught. It's being accepted on college campuses and even in the halls of Congress or major institutions elsewhere for years now. I'm so glad that you said this is Soviet propaganda. My entire family fled the former Soviet Union just in the hopes that I would never have to see this in my lifetime. And the fact that I'm sitting here with you discussing the very same anti-Semitic issues they faced back in Russia is absolutely horrific. The takeaway, it's not just accepted on college campuses, it is taught on college campuses. Yes. Elizabeth Pipko, thank you for joining us.